So what makes a process suitable for automation? There are no hard and fast rules, but a good RPA process to automate will be highly manual, repetitive, rule-based, low expectation rates, and that data is structured. This means that if a process steps change frequently without following a pattern, it's usually not recommended to automate. The best processes have clear exception handling instruction and decisions that are based on standardized and logical rules. Ideally, exception rates should be as low as possible. This implies that the known scenarios are prevalent so that the bot can be easily configured to automate a high percentage of the process. Another important criteria for RPA suitability is the input file or process and document format. Good processes usually have structured input data, which comes in the form of Excel, Word template, or readable PDF templates. It's recommended to start with processes that have high volume and transactions are highly frequent because they will, of course, save the most time if automated, and the efforts invested in creating automations will have much bigger impact than it would if a monthly or annual process with low numbers of transactions are automated. Mature and stable processes are ideal for RPA as they are typically standardized, well-documented with low exception rates, and it's not expected for them to generate new scenarios or undergo significant changes throughout the optimization, redesign, or other improvement initiatives that usually apply to younger processes. If these conditions are not met, it becomes extremely difficult to establish the scope of an automation, and it's difficult for the developers to have clarity on the automation task. Finally, it's important to do an accurate evaluation on the automation benefits and select those processes that will bring significant savings. Processes where at least one to two FTEs worth of work is saved are good candidates. Obviously, the higher the number, the better. A proper level of efforts, also known as the LOE, should include the efforts required for documenting the process steps, creating the automation and reporting of the bots, deploying the bots into production, training the support team, and doing the process maintenance. And that summarizes the RPA Opportunity Assessment. Thanks for watching.